Hello guys, now we are going to assemble um, all the components of the Huawei G-Play Mini or also the Huawei uh, Honor 4C. Now the first thing I want to do is to clear up the residue of this thing, but uh, in a second thought I thought maybe this old glue is enough to hold it on there, at least this side, and uh, this um, top part here is enough to um, hold the display in place. Now for the underground part here I'm going to take this double sided adhesive um, especially made for um, taping this display um, thing under the casey here. Um, I will cut it to size and um, put it on here. Handling is this tape is quite easy. You just cut it to length, how long you need it. Then you put it there and um, tuck it in place wherever you want and push it down a little bit. And important to um, clean the surface beneath it. And then you just try to, to lift, to lift the white cover. It's just a little bit no, so yeah, and now you have the adhesive on the phone, and um, yeah. So the next thing we are going to do, so I applied adhesives here, 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 this side. Uh, this old part should uh, hold up, and on top of here, and this all covered with the old adhesive, so it should um, hold in place very well. Now the next thing we are going to do is to fit the display on top of this. Now to watch is that there are two ribbon cables, one this one that goes through this here and the bigger one that is on the other side, this one, that goes through here to the other side. So the result should look like this. Expect that um, I don't have a speaker grill up here anymore, so it looks a little bit odd. But um, now the display should um, stack onto this back plate here, and it's uh, it fits nicely. I had um, the fear that it won't fit because it's for a Honor 4 C, but indeed they are the same phone. You see the the old um, the old. Uh, part here is is quite uh, well not not the best looking but um, it's important to have a new display and yeah now what I have here that's the power at uh, the display connector that comes from the display di directly um, and here we have two parts one is this one here this one is the display uh, the, the the sensor for light and um, and everything and this is the second display connector this one and um, the next part we are going to do is to is quite simple we are going to um, place the PCB onto this back plate here now the PCB is held in place with just two screws that are, as I remember now let's put it in here so it fits it should fit snugly in here. Perfect. Perfectly perfect. Yeah. Now the BCB is in place. Now we are going to screw it down with uh, two screws. One here. And the second one is here. This one. And all the other screws, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, or hold in place by the battery. Now see here the screw holes on the side and that's done the main screwing point to uh, hold everything in place from the battery to the CCB, uh, PCB. Now let's um, do that real quick. And also a nice side note, the BCB screws are black compared to the normal screws that are labeled with a blue dot on it. Those are the screws that goes to the battery and the main assembly and the PCB screws here you can see it perfectly are totally black 
So now we have put the two PCB screws, one here and one here in place. The important part is not to make them too tight because um, the CCB is uh, quite fragile and doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of pressure to um, break these um, points here. Now the next point is to seal up the connections, uh, to put together the clicking connections. Here we have one, one here, the second, and the third here that comes onto this connector. To do so, I have done it one time here, and to do so it's quite simple. It's uh, quite like playing with, with Lego. You take the connector and just push it into until you hear a little click. Now we have done those two. Well, we're going to make the display connector. We're going to put it on here. And it's in. Nice and snug. So we have almost half a phone and <laughs> yeah it feels a little bit like like something now. Um, the next thing we are going to do is um, to place the battery in here. The battery connector is uh, this little dot here as you can see and this is where the point where we are going to connect the battery onto it and um, otherwise there aren't any connectors anymore to connect. As are those two, the sensor and the display connector and the display, second display. So the next thing I want to talk about is how do you know that a CCB is fitting right in here. Now we have some guide holes, um, those little pointy things, one, two, three, all along this part here but the most important part is that the PCB is clipped in place here with this clipping board. It is under this clipping board and this clipping board right here. And the third one is uh, what, here. It is down, down there. When those three are in place, um, it is uh, fitting and sitting. And yeah, as said before, now we are going to take the battery and put it in, um, that's the right direction. The underside must be look this way. So the connector is right here, it fits right on here. Now let's screw it in place. Now the battery, it fits right in. It has also some um, guiding pins to fit it in that are underneath here and here and here. Um, and it's held in place with 11 screws um, and yeah, now let's put in all those screws around here. We are going to connect the battery to the C PCB. Just press down here and the connector is on the board. So <clears throat> just to clarify, the battery is held in place by only two screws in the, in the um, first part, by this one and this one. And then the back cover is going to place it over it and here we see the screw holes go through here and the battery is secured in a second step with those screws. Now let's put all those remaining screws in. The next step is to put the back cover on it. And now let's take a look if it starts up. Oh yeah. It's a good sign. And it works. Now let's see if the touch screen is working. And yes, it is working. Camera. It's working just fine. Perfect. The speaker is working. Everything is working. Yep. Perfect. So the phone is functional and um, and back put back together. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.